How good is my mic?
Oh shit, can people not see this? Oh, there we go, good.
Oh, come on. So it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmor and then on to Armorang. And I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends, then? Through thick and thin? Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. Not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder, what will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. Just more nagging burdens to ignore. So this is what the light was hiding. She's here. I must go to her. Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. 
Sarastinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death? Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear the receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Euretha. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease, much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Ooh, I have Released a watcher. over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Hello, viewer. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Sir Estinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Sorry, I'm kind of wrapped up in the story. <laughs> Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. Varys, Varys, who's Varys again? I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return That's to right. the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. <gasps> I want to go to Garlemald. Are there? One, two, three. Oh, so three, but still. I wonder what they are. Hey viewer, if you don't mind me asking, are you from the um 
The Discord link I posted, or are you just some stranger? I'm cool either way, I, I'm just curious. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, hey, Pond. Sorry, I, I can't see who is viewing me, so I had no idea who it was. Let's see, horn. Oh, you're telling me. I want to change mine, but I don't know how to. I also want to change my icon because it's from like an old ass Kingdom Hearts 2 AMV I made when I was 14. So right now, I'll just catch up on the game because it's so good. I love it. Um, right now, it doesn't look like it because I just helped this area, but oh my god, there's a lot of quest points. But um, the premise is you have to help this other version of your world that's been taken over by the lakes. Kind of like how like in a lot of RPGs, like 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 Final Fantasy 15, it's like, oh, the, the world's been taken over by darkness, and darkness will cover the land and blah 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 it's the same thing but it's light and it's just as bad um there's like a small portion of the world that's left um unblanketed and uh, that's where all the survivors are i'll show you uh this is the whole world now in this version of the world everything beyond this blue part is just like swallowed up in light and it's just like barren wasteland yeah right um, not only that, but there are like these angel monsters that come out there and they eat people but also turn other people into angel monsters like them. So it's no good for anyone. And in most places it was 24 7 light, like all through the day. I just killed one of the big light monsters, so now there's light again. Uh, there's darkness again here, and now there's different weather and stuff. Um, but. Uh, I'm probably gonna head somewhere soon where, where there's. Shit, how do I get this one? I'm gonna head somewhere soon where there's probably gonna be more, um. more light. We'll see. Oh. Uh. I just gotta. Careful. Jump. There we go. Okay, so. There are flying mounts in this game? Is it like. Kind of, yeah. Like, it's not. Like, not to the player, obviously, because that, that's not a good game, the player can't see. But, like, it, it's... It's pretty bright. It's... It's... It's like 24-7. I'll probably show you in, like, a minute or two. After do some side quests. Here, eat your sandwich. Um... But, yeah, so the... The, the hook is there's, um... The... Those angel monsters are called Sin Eaters, and there's five of them called Light Wardens. That was the five in charge. You can't. It sucks. Oh, fuck, I was worried. Oh, there's more side quests. I'm gonna be here a while, just clearing these out. I could skip them, but I'm not that kind of person. When a side quest pops up, I have to do it right away. Blah blah blah. Uh, but this, oh yeah, there's five of them called Light Wardens, which are like the five big ones. Uh, I wouldn't say in charge because they don't really have um, intelligence, as far as I can tell. But um, they're like the big, the big five powerful ones. And I just killed one in the last dungeon. So that sort of cleared things up over here. So there's nighttime in this region. So 
So now everyone's like, ooh, the Warrior of Darkness is here to help free us from the eternal daytime. By the way, when I was streaming with Riot yesterday, um, she said there was like some um, audio issues with the music being too loud, so I adjusted it. That makes it yep, it's impossible to nap. Impossible to sleep. I mean, they do have rooms and stuff, so like it's not like it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's not that great. Okay, cool. I don't know what this guy wants. Just kind of skipping the dialogue. One of these, I'm just skipping the dialogue and like, hey, can you think of me? Yeah, 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 the, the X, X, X. And then before I know it, they'll be like, here's a gun, shoot a puppy. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? What's gonna happen one of these days, I swear. What's gonna happen at the end of the dialogue? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wondering why I'm, why I'm always taking the bike, even though it's like a short walk. Um, my Chocobo buddy, if you look into the top left corner, there's a timer next to its name. I don't know how clearly it shows up, but um, I only summon it for that long. But the timer stops when I'm on my bike, so it's like, okay, I gotta uh, save time before I have to spend another gauge of green to call it back. Yeah, it's cool. It's great for like um, the DPS and uh, healing classes because the chocobo can be any. It can technically be any class. It can be like a tank or a or healer. So if like if like you're as and you want to play solo sometimes in just the overworld, but you have zero HP, you just make your chocobo a tank and you have a tank you can carry around. Oh fuck! I didn't see that thing. Oh shit. Oh fuck. So when you die you go to, to your home eighth right? But mine is like literally on a different world entirely. So it's gonna cost a pretty penny to get back. Eh, it happens. It's my fault, I should have fixed it when I went to the other one. I'll do that actually, hang on. Yeah, here we go. The Crystarium. Big mood. I do like, um, Hagane. It's just, it's so far and so expensive. Okay, so, is that how I Yep. So now if I die, I come back here. Yay. Oh, I skipped a side quest too. Um, I forgot I unlocked this one down here. Just run. So a cool thing about this game, about this uh, expansion is, um, I don't know if it's cool yet, I kind of just unlocked it, but I think it's cool so far. Uh, what happens is, with all your classes, it used to be like, you know, every 5 or 
every five levels in the base game or every two levels in the expansions like your your class would have its own quest line but I think this one what they're doing is they're sort of like making it streamlining it a little bit so like uh I know right I mean it's a city but <laughs> but no it's it's a big city look at that this is just like a dome but uh, anyway so like this guy is just you can only be a tank with this guy and do his quests and then this one you have to be I think like a regular DPS and then uh, this guy you have to be this guy you have to be a healer for his quest line so I, th I think what they're doing is it's the same thing as the uh, the class ones except they're just doing it by uh, class type Yeah, and the story is neat too because um, they're all like Sin Eater bounty hunters, but um, they're all after um, Sin Eaters based on the original Warriors of Light who brought the Eternal Light. So what happened is uh, like a hundred years ago, the good guys won, apparent, oh, supposedly won, and that caused uh, like the elemental balances to be thrown off and cause the eternal daytime lightness thing. So, I guess uh, that over. So now you have to sort of like each one has its own. Um, I don't care. So like each of those bounty hunters has a corresponding hero. Uh, like the tank one is the the party's tank and then so on and so forth. The Chiliad. Hang on, I gotta get the map back up so I can show you this again. Oh, there it is. This is where you go to chill. The Chiliad. It's also the poem, the epic poem by um, by uh, Homer, uh, followed by the Odyssey. You know the Chiliad. I'll be here all week. Keep your waitress. Bromer, there we go. And the. Um, What's, a, what's an Odyssey pun? The writer of the Chiliad and the. Uh, no, no, I can't do Netflix and chill. Uh, fuck it, just the Odyssey. The Brodyssey. I mean, that one works too. You gotta stretch the pronunciation a little bit, but beggars can't be choosers. Just like when Brodysius disguised himself as, as a beggar at his old home and then killed 20 guys in a rage. I should be reading these so I can get some vocal practice. But I don't care enough about these like overworld text bubbles. Odyssey. Oh, I th when, you, when you read it, it sounds like it could work. Then you say it, and it just sounds funky. Odyssey. Odyssey. Ooh, there's a hand tree. A big hand. Kind of. Oh shit, right, I'm just going somewhere. Uh, shit, I don't want to fight because I'm still kind of weak and also my axe doesn't do a lot of damage. What am I looking for? Uh, I 
Oh, shit, am I doing the... I know what I'm doing here. Okay. So I gotta do the... Nope, wrong one. This one? Uh, okay, I guess just go to a spot for that. This is why I should be reading these quest lines, so I know where to go and what I'm doing. Let's see... There it is. Me too. FF14 has so much of the old music in it, and it's just so good and so nostalgic. Uh, mine doesn't, but some of them do. They they all have, uh, you can get chocobo outfits, and some of them are lasers. No way, tree guy. My chocobo has, um, it's just like these flowy ropes. See, that person has laser wings, but that's not my chocobo. Oh my god, they have the, the yokai watch mount. That mount was f available at the very beginning of the um, of the relaunch for A Realm Reborn, so it's like an old ass uh, mount. You can't get it anymore. Yeah, I don't know why they, I mean, I've, I've seen weirder crossovers, but it's just fun, like, playing this game and then just seeing, like, this doofy yokai, ghost guy, I don't know what his name is, I've never played yokai watch. In fact, I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure his name is just, like, ghost yokai watch, like, Sans Undertale, Sans Undertale, so it's just ghost yokai watch. Oh fuck, there's one more quest, okay. Then I gotta meet my bro over... In this place I don't think I've ever been to. Oh wait, I have been to, okay. Oh, but that's a place that has, uh... This is the last thing I do. Yeah, right? I mean, my guess is, um... They were just relaunching, so they're like... Hurting for, um... Uh, just some, just some support. Um, because like, when you have to remake a game because it was so bad at the beginning, it's like, you want to make a good first impression. So like, okay, what's the biggest game right now? You okay, watch. Let's do that. Um, why is it still raining? It's raining forever. Although it's kind of cool because um, people who haven't gone as far as far as I have, um, they won't see the rain or the nighttime. They'll just see the light and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I think he'll one. Okay. Oh, wait, I got moved over here. This is my big warrior move. It's called Spell Cleave. I love it. Yeah. Fuck you, tree. I think back to the Crystarium. Okay, so I gotta go... I could just walk over there, or bike over there, I guess, but... I've been back and forth so many times, I just wanna get it over with. Fuck that tree! Fuck that, fuck that. 
Her phone looks like it's being wall attacks. Okay. Oh, come on. And let's see. You are over. Way over there. So the closest thingy is the pendants. Oh, it's not my song. That's a, um, that's a corn song. It's called, uh, Y'all Wanna Sing? I'll say fuck that. What happened was, um, after corn got kind of big, um, the, their record label was like, yeah, can we get another single, like, Freak on a Leash? And they're like, okay, uh, fuck you, but I guess we don't have a choice because you're the record label. So they're like at their studio thinking like how do we make a, like a new single, like a new hit single. And then one of the guys was like, y'all want a single? Say fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. And they made it into a whole song. And it's one of my favorites because it's just so catchy. Y'all want a single? Say fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. And then the, 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 the verses are all about how like... Oh, the, the, it's, it is catchy. It's like, what's going on today? We got a breakaway. Da, 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 da. I don't actually understand what they're saying. But uh, it's a catchy song. I'm not a huge porn person, but the songs I catch on the radio are all pretty good. Corn is, um... Let me think. Horn is the one that isn't Slipknot. Um, they did, uh, what's their big one? Oh, you know what it is? Their big one was uh, Freak on a Leash, where it's like feeling like a freak on a leash. And then the singer just beatboxes. He's like, boom, pop, boom, bam, 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 It's all weird. You are coming at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. I would sing more, but there's plot happening. But remind me to tell you more about corn when this is over. Lax and Loft here. Yes, that one. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. <laughs> Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. I'll explain this too afterwards, but uh, give me just a second to see what, how this plays out. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? Ooh. A moment, Captain, if you would. Lina is the city cap captain of the guards. She's also Viera and very cute. Just gotta turn off the magic first. Everyone gather around. Yes! Um, just all the music in that game is so good. But yeah, the Turks game is like one of it. Like, prematurely. Forgive boom, me this boom, liberty. Boom. No, it's not it. Um, vanish. Vanish? What? Oh, fuck. I mean, that's not a new spell by any means, but it's fun to see it in use. Enter. Yeah, isn't it like kind of jazzy? Oh shit. Whenever you can see their faces change in this game, you know shit's going down because, um. They're not huge on faces, I think. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. Oh shit. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? Ranjit, oh, that's a cool name. Oh fuck, look at this guy. The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We are people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I address yeah, your right? question, you must allow me one of my own. 
What is Yulmore's interest in this? He looks like that, uh... His benevolence, Lord Kung Fu Master Trope. is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and sin. Like, you know he's just gonna stroke his beard. Should it like, uh, transpire that the like Cristarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. Oh, shit. Base... Yep. So basically, since you have been so kind, so basically, I too the badass old man is from a city where um, it's just like Regardless rich people. Of who is responsible? The Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death. And yeah, you the tell him that. Sorry, it's really hard to talk. More explain this thing. tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Oh, shit. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. Kung fuck. Kung pao penis. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand sin eaters changes nothing. The world is dead. And writhe as we might. Oh, you know what? I can just turn off the auto. Uh, it text. will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. Okay, so, uh, badass kung fu guy. He's from a city where basically, like, the aristocracy lives on this, like, it's not floating. It's on, it's on top of like a rock, but it's like a tall rock tower thing. Anyway, um, basically, the rich people live sort of in tandem with the Sin Eaters, the Angel Monsters, by uh, sacrificing the poor, which is, you know, not a new story. Uh, but basically, they kind of have their own thing going on by, uh, they're quote-unquote safe, the rich people are safe, by sacrificing everyone else. So, since they killed one, it kind of fucks up their, um, their organization, their society. But I wasted my breath. Yeah, right? You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vothry. Vothry is the guy in charge. He's also the fat guy Geek keeps posting in uh, Halcyon. You will do whenever well to this game. any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yule Moore's mercy promptly. Oh, he's pissed. One last matter. We are searching oh. for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? I'm the assistant. The young artist is one of my friends. That guy. An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Basically, oh, oh shit! That's not good. Anyway, basically, we snuck into the city as, like, he's saying, "I'm an artist," and she's my assistant. And then we got pissed at the, uh, the fat guy in charge, and he wasn't happy with that. things or did he just stare straight at us I fear he did the general is not a man to be trifled with he is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmore's army since before Valtry's time when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters oh shit one does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts if you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. 
While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. Tis noble of you to say, Master Alphino, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight the last man. Well, fuck. Basically, these are the, the last told, two big cities of the world, I and would not have been they're still fighting. Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. I love her voice because she reminds me of a... A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of... Oh my god! Minfilia. I like her voice because she reminds me of uh, Saifa from um, Castlevania. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Minfilia was my friend from my world. She actually went over here first, like, ah, two expansions ago. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. Of course. Just I think it best that you seek out Marem at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alfino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right. Though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. See the cabinet curiosity. I think it's to the north. Oh, I gotta leave here first. First, how you doing, Boo? Okay. Uh. Okay. There's like five things I was gonna say after the cutscene, but that was a long ass cutscene. Um. Where do I start? Uh. So Infilia, she's um. Basically, she started the the group I'm with um, in the base game, and then she vanished because the big crystal of the world called her over, and um, and uh, she went to help this world. We knew that, and that was it. And then like two expansions happened, and then we got here, and uh, apparently there's Minfilia's pl plural now. So that's weird. Also, this is their library. How cool is how cool is this? It's like all underground, but it's like a big old tower. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Make get on the fucking table. Table. Now I'm stuck. With okay. There we go. Yep, it's just a big fancy cave. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, these two, they're also from my world. They're twins. Uh, he's a smart one, she's kind of a fighty meathead, but I love her, because she's the best. And uh, this is a person in charge of the library. Uh, yeah, introduction is popular nowadays, because it's nighttime now. Local of light and after exist. forms and task as it is. The illustrated tale of the Oracle of Light. Behold my underground fortress. It's 
I mean, you're not wrong. How many of them? How many underground fortresses are uh, just basements? This guy keeps giving me kids books, and like I get it because I'm not from this world, but like I feel insulted. Let's see if you're self up you look at the level below. You should, should I say for a while? Is always in this place despite my best efforts. In short, look at somewhere it should be, and also somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck. Thanks, Quest Giver. I mean, yeah, I guess. Let's see. So, let me level below. Oh yeah, but it's not where it is, it's somewhere where it isn't. Duh. Dick. I mean, quantum physics is different. This is just history. Here we go. Got it. What you gotta say, Alize? That's the book, isn't it? Yep. Thanks for the conversation. Well, I gotta put it back? Why is it... Oh, maybe it's putting me upstairs. Okay, this music's cool. I gotta give him that. Is on the book? Yep. Right here. This world's version of a little child child's book. Here's <laughs> some pop outs. I mean, yeah. Uh, he actually did that one earlier. One of those earlier. And it was pictures, basically. Without further ado, then, let me turn off the auto scroll because there's no voices this time. Began a hundred years ago when the flood of light threatened to swallow. You know I'm gonna grab a soda real quick just so I can drink something while I'm talking. Hang on. I'm gonna get that soda ASMR for you. Oh, fuck, fuck. I'll see on my keyboard. Let's see. Listen to my voice and my soda. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <sighs> okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, I'll give this person a voice. I can't tell they're a man or woman, so I'm gonna go kind of androgynous. Let's see. I'm not good at voices yet, so... <sighs> not was known ab none, not, not, wow. Not was known about, about her save, her name was Menphilia. And for delivering the realm, she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. I'll get there. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But... I think you're pretty good at it. You, you got a good voice. You got a really good voice. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. Two years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. Oh shit. It's true. You got, a, you got like a fun voice and you do sound... Or at least over the mic, you sound like a girl to me. So... That's what matters. When the seniors laid ruin to the kingdom of Vo Vobert? Vobert? I think it's Vobert. A young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's bleached touch. Fuck yeah! One with hair spun of gold and eyes of clear sapphire. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came likewise to be called Minfilia. Enlisting the Yilmoran arm- I can never pronounce that one. This Minfilia fought and vanquished countless Sin Eaters. 
Oh, so it's just like, um... Fuck, what's your name? Um... God, what's your name? Uh... Luna Freya! Luna Freya from Final Fantasy XV. Alas, like many soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. battle. Yet with her dying breath, she whispered unto her grieving comrades, Minfilia will return in Avengers 5 and Game 2. And true to her word, some years later, and another young girl was discovered, another young girl was discovered, who possessed the self-same eyes, the self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She too took the name Infilia. She too fought seniors as a soldier of Yulmor, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and so the cycle continues to this day. And this is a children's book, mind you. What does this person say? Okay. And that concludes the tale! Yay! By, val by their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Nor Norvrant. Yeah, right? I've saved Norvrant on numerous occasions. I mean, I guess if you live in a world of eternal light, you kind of want a little dark. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a world of light. You can't really tell right now, but you'll see. If it were not for them, I might never have learned the light wardens in their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Some, perhaps, the truth is rather simple. It is rather less simple. Eternal light. Yeah, who can blame them? Honestly. Like, imagine if it was just like summer all the time, like, midday of the summer all the time, I, I'd die. Though the oracles were born with certain common traits, she does not inherit the memories of, or the knowledge of her previous incarnations. All the Minfilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the way of war and ignorant of the powers they harbored. I mean, same, but like, it gets hot, and you kind of want to cool down sometimes. And you, uh, do you like sleeping too? But like, it's just it's just light all the time. There's not even like a dawn or a dusk. It's just bright. Some embraced their fate and Others did not. But all were made a face. The sin eaters and all died to keep our hopes alive. That's kind of gruesome. I gotta imagine there's a couple who are like, No, I don't want to fight. I want to fight. They're just going to push them on the battlefield. That's not fun. That's not good. What can you tell us for the current Minfilia? Hmm. She was found by the Yumuran army some ten years ago and taken to their care, into their care. Or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord Veruth's rule... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not Veruth, uh... Varthi? Vathri? And fucking... Under Fat Guy's rule, Yulmor had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Minfilia was uncomfortable was an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight. A potential threat to the peace. And so they kept her under lock and key. Hmm. I don't like that. Under fat guy's rule. Yep. Oh wait, you, you wait till you see him. He's like he's like a crash bandicoot villain fat. You know? Like just like a cartoony rotund gut and size and everything. He's like that. For a long while, we heard nothing more from her. <laughs> yep. Fat guy. Yeah, look, that's basically guy. Yeah. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. Excuse me. We couldn't even... Oh my gosh, excuse me. Be certain she was still alive. Save that it was Elmore's best interest to keep her... For her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago... A gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a good grasp on Minfilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Morin. Morin, more like Moron. <laughs> Got him. Might trouble you for a word, Chris Fib? Chris Fib? Outside. 
where morons can't hear us. I'm just gonna take a shortcut. Ready? This one has voice acting. It's weird. Some cutscenes have voice acting, some don't. I see this one doesn't. You can never tell which. As you all have all summarized, this, the guy in Seoul who rescued Infilia was none other than our own dear Thancred. Thancred's my friend from my world. Um, they were, Basically, everyone except for me was kind of dragged here against their will, but it, they're like, oh shit, it's kind of important that we're here anyway, so no harm, no foul. But, um,. Yeah. I kind of end up going willingly to rescue them, but now I'm like, oh shit, if we don't save them, this world's fucked, and that means our world is fucked. So, we have a reason to be here now. They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for too long, which is why we have yet, we have not yet had the chance to meet them. We know that Amphelia journeyed here as Highland's emissary to halt the flood of light. It can only be heard that the people of the first... Uh, witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Warrior of Light. Yeah, this world's called the First, because I don't fucking know. I mean, I do know, but it's, it's a pain to. Ex it's hard to explain. Uh, but while there's a, while there's plainly some connection between the woman we knew and her namesake, the fact is these girls do not share her memories. Must surely mean they're not the same person. Thancred has to understand that. I have no doubt he understands. The question is how he feels. Thancred kinda had a crush on Minfilia, I think. I don't know if that was for realsies or not. I think he was also kinda like a dad figure? I don't know, that part of the game was weird with ages and it didn't make any sense. So I also have zero clue if it's creepy or not. Regardless, the Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. Yeah, basically. He's been captured. And then what happened, what's even more fucked up is, um, uh, in the first version of the game, um, they had the same clothes, too, because, you know, they're twins. So it was impossible to tell them apart unless they looked at the, um, their bow. She had been captured, and we may be certain, maybe certain he will not stand idly by. <laughs> there you go again, making talking on in a roundabout way. If you think we should rescue and feel it, just spit it out. Just what happens, I agree with you. It's quite clear that this Minfilia possesses Heidelin's blessing. Heidelin is their planet and also the crystal that is the planet, sort of? Like the heart of the planet. Like the live stream, but a crystal. I want her to have a second to have a second such individual on our side. Right, Chris Vib? Chris Vib? Why don't you only be enough? But fine, nah, I'm gonna be nice. Quite. Yeah. I know maybe the right choice when I do that. Fist punch. I see map your minds. Exarch, what brings you here? A report a report and proposal because I'm all mysterious and junk. First the report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Yumuran forces at Lation Loft do indeed have Infilia in, her, in their custody. For the present, they are holding her there, but we certainly will move her to Yulmore ere long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give, give her up as lost. <gasps> so if we mean to act, we should do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. I ask that you entrust this un, uh, undertaking to us, the people of the Crystarium. Oh shit. And another cutscene. Let's see. Oh! Hey, okay. They're gonna give me new, new armor. Nice. See, now they talk. 
and with your combined strength, it's impossible to tell whether I'm going to talk or not. With your combined strength, you won't succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. Mm. It was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens, but so long as hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. This guy is super mysterious and I hate it. I want to know why he has a crystal hand, I want to know who he is. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. Oh, they doesn't even know. They just kind of like, hey, follow As me. Of you are no aware, reason. I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the general condemned the slaying of the Light Warden and warned me in no uncertain terms that should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken, we would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulm. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to I feel that. everything we and have like, accomplished thus far. You want to say something, you just say it, I'm like, oh, wait, maybe Clearly, I should hold back, This is not a but decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to like you Like this morning, we're talking about the what Airbnb. should we do? Yeah, I just I just feel things and like I gotta follow my heart and then realize oh my wait Lord, my heart's a dumbass. Know our minds. That guy's a fucking barkeeper. To our eyes to witness the night's return, the whole of Norvrat deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Like I was just there, and he was a barkeeper. Like that's his name and everything. What the fuck is he doing here? Your Lord's influence is far reaching. He is. He's the same race as me. Trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. Oh, absolutely. But make do, we will. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Christians Oh, was I know what this is. These are all like um. They're not going to, they're, they're, they're not fighting. These are, um, like, the people in charge of the city. We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Okay, this enjoy, makes more sense. But to thrive. I think I had, like, like, a mission for them. You rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those you moron bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> Silly. It appears we have what a consensus. Let it be known that the Yomoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, 
and let that be our answer to your Moore's ultimatum. Oh fuck. Here, here. Yay. Here, here. Even the background people are cheering. <laughs> In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. <laughs> and there you have it. If Yulmore wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. That's a good what ultimatum, though. <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. I don't know why we're the criminals all of a sudden, though. Like, my lord, our proposal is as follows. That was fast. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lake. Amaro are like their the this world's version of Chocobos. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. What the fuck is dream powder? Not always succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Is it like sleeping gas? Very good. See to your preparation. Is that how they nap in this world? Like, oh, it's too bright. I'm gonna take some dreaming powder. They'll knock me out. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Jeez, that old lady's ready to fight. It's like, oh, fucking war, fucking finally. And what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. If excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. Yes, I love Lena. She's my, like, fifth wife in this game. Not in, like, a creepy way, but... That old lady loves fighting, yeah. Just like in, uh, Captain Marvel. Okay, but before I do that, I want to take care of a side quest. Uh, over here. It's pretty good. It's not the best Marvel movie, but it's... I'll, I'll, it's definitely my top five. I'm not sure if it makes top three. So, like, it's, it's really good, but I don't know how good, you know? Okay, so... This is an example of the eternal daytime thing. This is what people go through constantly. And that's the city we're going to war with, with the floaty balloons. But for now... Oh, wait, let me show you. Let's see, it's just... Okay, I see where it is. This guy's got a bike too. Yay! Yeah, I know. Thor Ragnarok was unbeatable. That, that one was so good. Yeah, right? I mean, look at, look at all the trees. And, and I guess there's some bushes here. But, but no, it's not a whole lot. I've seen so many people on the FF7 bikes, and I love it because, like, yeah. We both spent twenty dollars on this thing, but um, so basically, there's like a little shanty town that people live on. Um, I've never been to New Mexico, but I 100% believe you. But uh, what I was saying was, um, basically, every once in a while, um, the FF14 version of Zorn and Thorn will show up, and by, what I mean by FF14 version, I mean they're two jester girls. Who also speak in rhyme and also have Zorn and Thorn's actual theme song playing, so like it's it's more or less them. But um, 
you want to throw in a show up like, hey, we're looking for someone who can catch the biggest fish, and you can come live with us in the big city. Wouldn't that be nice? And everyone's like, yay. So they pick someone, they get to go to the big city, and uh, they basically become either like a servant or a plaything there. And once they're done with, um, they get fed to the Sin Eaters and then tossed into the ocean. So it's fucked up. Right now, I'm working with this guy, Grisson. He's like the, uh, he's a tank I was talking about before for the uh, class type quest. Yeah, holy shit is right. Right? And everyone there is like so excited to go to the city because they, like they don't know what's up. I only know because I fucking left. I mean, basically New Mexico looks like this whole world Look, looks like this. You see? Yeah, I can see that too. Well, we'll save the conversation for after tracking down. Okay, so we're gonna go after one of the original Warriors of Light. Uh, let's see what we're looking for. Uh, question: Residents of Right. Oh, there's someone. What do you guys say, Skittish villager? Ah, what, what, what? What do you want with me? The Sin Eater? The one that came and killed everyone? Oh god, is he here? Then why are you talking about him? Oh, I knew I should have stayed inside. There's nothing but death out here now. Death and horror and eaters and... Gah, gah! Weenie. Just because you probably saw your whole family die. Your whole village die. Okay, that felt that felt mean. I, I actually feel bad for this, for making fun of this NPC. Uh, let's see. There should be one more person. So, oh, there they are. Huh? Where'd you come from? And what do you want with me? Oh my God! This guy's got a leather face. I can't even pronounce that one. That thrice damned eater. That's that's the spitting image of a Galgent Knight. That I, Greek name. I, I can't help you. All I know is that when he came, he... Wicked White. If you had seen the carnage, you would. I'm sorry. I can't talk about this. Is that the end of the quest? Because I didn't do shit except talk to people. And these quests get unlocked by the level. So, like... It's gonna be like a little while before the next one. Well, learn anything about sharing? Let me turn that off. I wish I could say that I'm surprised, but I'm not. What we saw th that day, what he did to us... <sighs> There's no moving on from that. What what exactly happened here? Well, I was planning to do the whole story eventually, but I suppose now is as good now is as good as time as any, right when we just met for the second time. He looks like Sonic the Hedgehog when he's a were hedgehog. Look look at his hair when, when he shows up again. Hang on. Okay, it's not a good picture. Ooh, it's a cute girl. I was born and raised in Wright, lacking any real prospects. I, yeah. Okay, cool. It's not just me. Okay, any real prospects? I eked out a living as a hunter. Uh, might have tried my hand at something more uh, exciting had I not also been trying to provide for the love of my life, Melinda. Ooh, it's a cute name. It was about a year ago that she was well, she accepted a commission from. This Yulun trader, bloke dealt mostly in antiquities, and he had this bracelet in need of restoration. Bloody old, bloody old was a questionable provenance, but but supposedly it once belonged to royalty or some such. The Fangs of Orthus, he called it. Me and her had been talking about trying, about tying the proverbial knot, buying land, building a home, that sort of thing. Around here, the man take. That might not take much, but it was still a lot more than we had. So 
from when the trader uh, made his offer, she didn't hesitate to say yes. I'd gone down to the shipyards to pick up extra tools and materials she needed uh, for the work. Quality stuff, but it paid itself ten times over. But when I got back to Wright, he was like, OBJECTION! Oh fuck. Uh... Dyke... Dykeasian. I can't pronounce these names. Jesus. Had been busy. I spent at least a dozen newborn sin eaters, uh, newborn eaters, uh, fluttering about trying to make sense of the new, of their new lot. The grandmother who'd been lived next door, and shared the fruits of her orchard with us. The gruff woodsman who would brought firewood to our doorstep in the dead of winter. Both of them reduced to mindless fiends, just like that. I'm gonna show you how they transform right after this scene because it is spooky. There wasn't much to mourn. There was much time to mourn or to think. I just started looking for Melinda, and there she was, alive and well. Our, our eyes met, and I knew it was going to be all right. We ran for each other, and everything turned out a-okay. -okay. Even now, your leader, it doesn't feel real. One moment she was there, right there in front of me. The next she was. Dick Bag knelt down. Knelt and took the face of Orthus, then left, leaving a host of sin eaters out of right. But Melinda. I could still see her. I still couldn't see her as anything else. She wouldn't budge. She just hovered there and stared, waiting for me to... to... to end it. Well, I could never say no to her. Not once in the years we've been together. For all the time she'd welcome me home with a bowl of hot stew. All the time she laughed at my crude jokes and gave me console when I was losing my way. For that and more, I killed her. Oh, fuck. I swore then and there I'd have my vengeance. Dick Bag would die by my hand. I carved the scars into my flesh, of, in my flesh, to mirror the ones he'd left on my soul. An enduring reminder of the vow I never dare stray from the path. There, all done. No need to wallow in it. When I want my tragic get trite tail to put you off of our hunt. Still with me to the end, Sinner? Yeah, because I've also lost a waifu or two in my quest. I'm sorry, I said waifu. I'm trying I'm trying to um, not use that word, but uh, it's a habit sometimes. That's the spirit. Still, I've got some unfinished business to do here. I'm on business here. Will you give me a moment to, before we resume? I would be most grateful. Yeah, sure, whatever. Cool, glad to know I spent my time just getting a story. Let's see, the next one unlocks at 74. Yeah. So it's going to be a while. I'm just going to go back here. And I'm going to show you a real quick cutscene where someone transforms into a Sin Eater, because it's, it's nasty. Why in Google? Uh, what the fuck? Type why why in Google right now. You'll see something only few will ever see. Um, just lowercase why why or cap or what the fuck is this? I guess st the stock market. I don't get it. Huh? Oh, I get it. That's <laughs> funny. Stupid, but funny. Oh, what'd you say? Shooting that nasty. Just why, why? Okay. Took me a second.
Yeah, now that I got it, it's, it's so good. I love it. Okay, so here's my one complaint, and I hate it because it... Okay, so... Every major city has, like, an inn, right? You, you can do all that, all your stuff in there. And a lot of them will have, like, a crystal ball to summon, like, your hairdresser. This one doesn't, because obviously you're in a different world. He can't come... He's just a hairdresser. He's not an adventurer like me. He can't travel between worlds, so it makes sense he doesn't show up. But... I want to change my hair, and he's not here to do it. But some one complaint so far about this in room. Uh, let's see, where is? Uh... It's this one. Okay. So, long story. I'm just gonna show you how this person transforms. This is an old cutscene I already did, so I can just. Any sign of him? They're looking for a kid who's ready to turn to a sin eater, but not yet. No Still got a then. few days or weeks or something. We should keep looking. Um. That's what a fully grown one looks like. Did you see the size of it? They basically just go around killing and eating people and then also transforming them. So like Is it's that... not good. Oh. oh no! I should just turn this on. That's the kid we're looking for. He's a zombie? Like, he's like got no expression. I hate it. He's so creepy looking. Oh, that lady's basically, um, she's in charge of like, this little town of, uh, infected people. And also she's dead. Tessley! No! Oh shit, I didn't see the blood last time. Yeah, right? I hate this kid! We all deserve happiness. Wherever we can find it. The time left to you is precious. No one should die in vain. Mother. Mother. Her mom also died. I don't know, but it freaks me the fuck out. Right? That's what happens to uh, people who turn to Sin Eaters. It's true. That's what, um, that's what Sonic the Dude Man saw. Yeah, right?
and that's what people are living with in this world. Me too. It's it's always an I I like gross angels. It's like the angels are gross by um by no by definition, I think. Uh, I'm curiosity to go. It's nice to actually see it. Oh my god, Team Archer has has a tumbler. I didn't even realize that. Let's see what you say. So you joining the guard. But however highly the XR thinks of you, you receive no special treatment from here from me. Is that clear? Um Oh, Dame Archer, she's um You've seen, ever seen those like um, those Renaissance Fair pictures of that girl knight who just kicks ass and and uh, has a big old sword, and also she's gay. It's her. We're just a loot soldier. Oh shit, I like her. Better, more spirited than Xbox people attempt certainly. Yeah, here I'll link it to you because. I want to see more of her too. Uh, where are you? Shit, where are you? Uh, oh, duh, I want to get my you're already the last person ta I talked to. There we go. Now, first things first, you will need uniforms. Go to the crystalline mean and report to Catalyst. She will see you measured and fitted. Okay. Actually, hold on, I think I got a. Oh no, this quest gives me the headgear. Okay. Gotta go all the way up to the surface world. See what bugs me about this city is it's one zone, but it's got like three different layers. So like getting around is so confusing sometimes. Atlas, my maybe girlfriend. I don't know you well enough, but it's my memo, so I can say whatever I want. Let's see my new look. Oh, it's just my regular look. Done? Alright, let's have a look at those numbers. Oh, they measured me. I see. Hmm. How goes it? Fairly close to be able to make them with some minor adjustments. Yay! Very well. See to it. And have the uniforms delivered directly to the field. Uh, don't the opportunity to brief you on the mission. Don't throw them to the field because um, they're all gonna be like level one armor. They don't have, offer any stats. They're just there for glamour. Oh shit! Venture earlier, we'll deploy Am Amaro to scatter dream powder from the air. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. 
engagement to be avoided whenever possible. I assume we're to be part of said unit? Correct. The unit will be divided into two cont contingents. One deployed from Fort Job and the other from the Austal Imperative. You and Alfinoir will, will join the former. Chris Vimal will join the latter with me. Yes! To date! Before you proceed, proceed to your position. Oh, I skipped it. Oh shit. She will issue you with a serum to ward off the effects of dream powder. We shall be on our way then. Take care, my friend, and we will see you in the field. It's quite far to the Imperative, so we might make use of an Amaro from the Rookery. After you have collected the serum, of course. Am I going to get an Amaro mount? Oh, I hope so. Oh, never mind. What is this? Uh... Oh, shit! I'm going to unlock something. Hang on. I don't think it's... Is it deliveries? Please be deliveries. Learn about operations. Good, good. So as I told you, the crystal means the center for the procurement. Blah, blah, blah. Storehouse. I think it's deliveries. One of the facet of forging. Actually, the facet of crafting, which brings artisans who work leather. Blah, blah. Facet of nourishing, whose mission is to ensure the designs are fed healthy. Facet of gathering for miners. Yes, that's me. Facet of fishing. This is like... So the crystal mean under the, the direction of the... Now offer your services to each of the facets. Ooh! So like... Oh fuck, they all got their own quests! Untake Christian deliveries to the facet of gathering must be... Oh, I see. I'm gonna... Put that on hold right now, though, because it's a gathering mission. I'll do that at the end of the game. So let's see. Nope, that's not a door. What well, is a door? But I can't use that door. I think I gotta. Go downstairs. Whee! Nope, I know, I know where it is. It's shit. Nope. There we go. Uh. Doo -doo. Oh right, this lady. This is the old lady. The fighty, the fighty old lady. Yes, sweetie, is there something you need? Oh, one of the guard came for your for your dram, are you? Here you go. Does this will keep you firmly in the waking walls while your enemies are off in dreamland. Now, if this is your first time, I should warn you. It's bitter as sin. Prince's kiss, they call it. But if you ask me, it should be called Crone's kiss. Hehehehe. <laughs> Just aside, this stuff is really foul. Really is foul. Most people gag, there's no tomorrow. But if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to Dreamland yourself. So I must ask you to drink it here and now, while I watch. Come on, give the old crone a kiss. <laughs> Not only is she fighty, she's also horny. Oh my god. Uh, is it in items? Probably. Yeah, here we go. Glug, glug, glug. Well done, sweet- Oh shit, it really is nasty. Oh shit, I died. I mean, I can't. I would also be gay for me. And horny for me. Well done, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd even say you enjoyed it. And now you needn't fear falling asleep in the battlefield. Just have- 
Seems I've carried on losing any limbs out there, all right. They don't tend to grow back. Let's see, and then from here I go... Okay. It's the rookery. But yeah, I don't blame her. Um, between me being here and being hot, and also the um, the war adrenaline, like you're bound to get a little horny. <laughs> but only if you really believe in yourself and wish with all your heart. Yes, what do you require of me? And tomorrow will take you to the imperative, eh? As much as I'd like to oblige, all our mouths are reserved for the coming operation. I fear you might have to go by foot. Fuck you! Hmm, but wait, there might be another way, assuming you're willing to lend a hand. Okay. It's Final Fantasy XIV, so every little thing needs like 20 quests to take care of it. Old, angry, and horny as that old lady. Damn straight. Let's see, what's this? Oh, not that one. Here we go. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna let's see, zoom in. Yeah, I'm keeping this on. This is this is cool. I like it. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Person say that. But also I'm just gonna do there. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a, a a quick sip of this energy drink. Ready? Oh man, I forgot. Red Bull gives you wings. I'm funny. <laughs> Let's see what comes next. I got a deep gold weapon. Ooh, nice. And an ether current. I need those. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Pun. I was about to deliver you know <laughs> Jerusalem's rounds on location went to the balance of the operation, the tower lies in the imperative here. Bad enough if if near enough is good enough for you, then what am I said? Very good shell, but uh, I love those stupid jokes where like you just work the gameplay in, in a stupid way. Okay, let's see where the fuck am I? Okay, I know where I am. Nice. This is... Oh shit, I'm already flying! I didn't have all the Aether Currents yet. Oh my gosh. So, can I cheat? Southeast. So basically, the fly you have to hit, you have to reach all these aether currents, but sometimes they're pain to get to because um, east. Okay, east. Oh, this is east. Duh. Uh, hold on. Is it in four? Yeah, here it is. There it is. I see it. You have to hit all of these. <sighs> oh, fuck. No, I can't cheat because it's not mine yet. So I have to talk to him every time I get off. Flight time, but I will cheat and do this. So like, see how like the map is like blank? I have to actually visit those places to um light it up. But with a um, flying mount, I'm just gonna you know do it the easy way and not have to run into 500 enemies to explore the place. I like this song too, it's a chill ass flying song.
What is this island? It looks like a turtle. Oh, maybe a ship? I don't know. This is a funky island. Let's see. The Isle of Ken. Where's the Isle of Barbie? Turtle ship. There we go. Just like, um... Fuck, I know something had a turtle ship. What was it? Was it the, the Aladdin movie? Like the third sequel? The one is like straight to VHS? Barbie's Dream Turtle Island. Oh my god, I wonder if I can... Can I... Yes! Let's see what's, what's underwater here. There's definitely a turtle thing. I don't remember if it was a ship or an island or what. I could, but also it take like it has to load up every time we go in and out. So and I'm just here to um fill out the map real quick. I get XP for each area I fill up, so this is just easy XP. The Forest of the Lost Shepherd, that's pretty cool. Force the Lost Shepherd. What's over here? The Ostal Imperative. Oh, that's the fort they're in. Mm, let's see what else we got here. Weathering. That's a good name for a place. melt that's not a good name for a place but whatever hmm let's see how the enemies are here I don't know what level they are they probably aren't crazy different but yeah 71 that's not a big deal I love I love how FF14 has like these little places you really don't go to. Oh, maybe you do in some weird quest line, but like if like me you only do like one job at a time, you just discover all these things like whoa, this has no purpose, but it's it's just there to look cool and add flavor to the world. True. Sometimes you just need like a little flavor, and there, there's there's one spot in Heaven's Water. It's just like a big frozen dragon in the middle of like a frozen lake that, as far as I know, doesn't do anything, but it just looks awesome. It's like, oh yeah, I love this. Oh. Let's 
Let's see, where am I going? Here we are. Oh. Event cancelled? Oh. Oh, you're living there in Marathons? I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. We already have all the beasts we require here. Instead, this one goes the imperative to the west. Ah, you should have told me that. Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna do real quick. Since this guy's got me now. I'm just gonna do this. Those blue things are called like lookout points. And basically Excuse me. You uh you just do a lookout emotion and uh you get XP for it. The ones in the overworld are pretty easy because um you can fly. But like if you go to like a city, they're in the stupidest places. And you have to like jump and it becomes a platformer basically. In an MMO, which is like stupid hard. Stupid hard. Oh shit, there's an Aetherite. Oh! And there's an Amaro Keeper. That's perfect. So... Let's see. First, I want to talk to this guy. So, I can... If I talk to him, I can just fly back here whenever I see another one. And then... Oh, oh! Fuck! Went too far. Can I get in this way? Yeah, I can. It's neat that they're including like these platformer elements in an MMO, but like it just doesn't work sometimes. They didn't design this game to be jumpy. Yeah, and actually in the gold saucer, the um, the big casino, there actually is like a mini game you can do uh, to get like casino money, where it's just um, it's just a platformer. You have to, like collect uh, trophies along the way, and it's so hard because you have like like maybe like 50 people all in one crowded area jumping all over the place and falling. And, oh, it's a mess. And then some of those viewpoints are like, let's see, I've understood including vertical exploration in MMO because the mechanics are designed for platforming. Yeah, it's some of them, some of them are like, this one, it's just walking, whatever, I, I can't complain about that because it's, it's whatever. But, uh, I saw, here it is. Uh, yay. Some of them, like this is whatever, it's a tower, it's realistic, it's got stairs and everything. Whee! Oh god, this is the biggest fall I've seen so far. And I didn't even lose all my health, oh my gosh. That's crazy. But uh, anyway, what was I saying? Um, oh, but then some of them are just like, crazy. Like... I'll I'll, sh I'll I'll try and show you one if I, if I have time to go there. But uh, say I don't believe I know you. Did you joined the guard recently? Yeah, kinda. Kinda joined this world recently, huh? So that's the way of it. Well, you managed to arrive, and that's what matters in the end. Would you welcome to the blah blah blah? The first thing you want to do is report to the captain. You'll find her at the lookout. For she could jump a motorcycle. <laughs> Honestly, does Queenie even have her license? Like, I don't think she has a license. I don't even know if she knows how to drive, to be honest. Yep. <laughs> so it seems rather than the Amaro delivering you, you delivered the Amaro. Well, not 
I'll not thank you. I'll expect my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. Ro Ro oh, that's cute, Roro. -ro. I like that. And yeah, I know. She doesn't have a license. She probably doesn't know how to drive. She just floors it. Ooh, let's see. How good is the armor? Yep, I thought so. It's all level 1. Didn't I say that? It's going to be level 1 armor? Same serum as Assy armor. It's cute! I like it! Row, row. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro launch. Let's see for the beginning. See? Oh, fuck! Look at all the quests that just popped up! Oh, this is gonna take a minute. Hang on. But, um... Oh, yeah. So, basically, what... what okay, so here's the cool thing they did. So, like, before we had to glamour your items, you, um... Oh, wait, hang on. I got... I just got a new... Fuck. I just got a new weapon, so I wanna equip that first. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. Uh... Ooh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. That looks cool! Okay, so I was saying, uh, before... We want to glamour your items to look like, um, if only equipment looked like different equipment, you had to keep them both in your weapons chest or your your armory chest. So if I want my, this new axe hook on my old one, I would have to, yeah, I know, right? I have to keep it here. Then they include something cool, glamour plates. Oh, fuck, I can't even show you glamour plates right now. Basically, they're like, um, they're like outfits you save beforehand, and when you're in a, when you're in a, a city, like a big city, um, you can just equip whatever, whichever ones you want for no cost. That's, like, you have to pay to put them into the plate. But, um, after that, you can just change it whenever. Which is awesome. But, you can only do it in the big cities. So, I can't... So, once I unlock that uniform, I can't do anything with it until I go into a city and put it in and everything. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna hide the main quest for now. So, I have more room for all these side quests. I was like, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Mood. Kind of a little way to make it so... It is, but it's better than it used to be. I'm also not very good at explaining these things. So, like, um... Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just a very visual person by nature. So, like, if I could show you, I think I'd explain it better. But, I can't right now. You need, you need fluorescent stranger. What's this? Flu oh, it's flatulent stranger. What the fuck is that? Oh, flatulent stranger, my favorite. This must not hurt for a few moments to wet my whistle. I know sound going to save high class high alert, of course. Okay, so glad we got that guy tipsy while he's on his lookout job. Flatulent Stranger. That just sounds like... That sounds like a bad porno, honestly. Let's see, there's no more things. I don't know where they... Oh, there they are. Talk to me, buddy. What you want? Oh, fuck! Of course, it's going to go all the way down. It's like, hey, can you go all the way up for me? Thanks. Okay, so... Here we go. Oh, that guy has a dinosaur mount. I want one of those, but they're a pain to get. You get those by sheer luck on a stupid uh, map. Well, not stupid, it's just a pain in the butt. Here we go, let's see. What are we doing here? Nope. Uh, here we go. Reinforcing mortar.
Also, I should mention, everything from the Heaven's Word expansion on, all, the, all those mounts can fly. Even though they don't look like it. So that dragon, that dragon, that dinosaur, if that person has all of their things ready, they can just fly here on that dinosaur. Here you go. Oh shit, I finished plugging my computer. Ugh. Hang on, I'm gonna text my sister super quick. Cause I have to do laundry and make sure she's done. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it flies. It's it's pretty cool. But so the place you get it, it's on a map called Eureka. It's like um you start at level one and it works kinda differently. It works like an old school MMO. Oh shit, it's down there somewhere. It works like an old school MMO and you get it from basically it's a loot box. So um it's it's just luck and it's a whole process and junk. It, it's it's fuck a fuck. Oh, okay. This is worth it. Oh, nope. Didn't make it. But I know where it is at least. Fuck. This is gonna tear up my Grundle in character. My sister to unload her laundry and then I'm gonna run up and do mine super quick. Uh, mortar. Whee! There's a game I, I like to play with, um, with like big groups basically one person gets to the top of a huge tower like this and lands anywhere right it doesn't really matter where as long as they land and then the point of the game is for everyone else to jump off and try to get as close as the landing person the first person it's like um uh like darts almost but you're falling yeah it's fun But you need a big group of people to do it, so that way you can like be at the bottom and just watch people fly off. Well, you can't die from fall damage in this game too, so that helps. <laughs> like, the mo you can get down to one HP, but you it won't kill you. Okay, I think that's all the. Yeah, no one's asking for anything now, so I can. Just go and do shit. Uh, you need flatulent stranger. And treated fodder. I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh fuck, there's one more here that was hiding. Uh, what do you want, buddy? You want Flatulent Stranger too, don't you, you sicko? Uh, what do you want, buddy? Ooh, you didn't give me stuff too. A deep gold bracelet. Is there someone in here? I think you want Flatulent Stranger too, don't you? Yes, you do. So what I'm going to do is 
hide this for now because I can only have five um quests on the right over there at the time. And let's see, where's that first one? To the north. So I'm doing that. The next one is to the east. Okay. This little compass at the bottom over here lets me know where the, all those um, uh, currents are that I need to fly. So I gotta spam that a lot to figure out where to go. By the way, I should mention this bike, once I, once I can do it, it also flies. Uh, there it is for the north, okay. Cute little town. Looks like a little retirement home type deal. Yeah, it flies! Nope, didn't mean to do that one. Ooh, it's got like a little hot spring and everything. Finest mulled wine. Ugh. This is a cute town in the apocalypse. I want to scrub your back. Gross. So that's over with. Uh, what else did I do? Everything's to the south. So just real quick, I should get that one to the. Oh, it's the south now. Cool. That's where I'm going. Unless to the fortress, which is probably blocked. Nope, didn't mean to get off my bike. If it's at the fortress, I'm kind of screwed because um. No, I don't think it is. Let's see. Fucking again! I keep mixing the, those up. To the south. Nope, not there. Perfect. There it is, I see it. And if I have the message for you, I think. Oh fuck, there's more to do here. Um, let's see, is there someone up here? Yes. You get a message. And you get a message. get a message. And since I'm over here, I might as well collect the reward. Uh, unless there's gonna be more quests, that'll be a pain. Don't give me more quests, dude.
Oh, but he's rewarding me with a ring at least. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You're an NPC. I don't care. What else is going on downtown? Oh, right. I should check where the next one is. Oh, perfect. I got, I got all of them. Nice. Nope. Don't want to get seen. Looks like I gotta kill some anemonemony. Fight the ocean. Fuck yeah. Just like real life. Oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I got all kinds of debuffs. Nope, not again, not again, not again. Oh, it's got worse breath. It's like bad breath, but worse. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second to get all those debuffs out. I was texting my sister again to make sure she was off laundry. This is why you don't multitask when you play an MMO. There we go. That's what I do. Oh, see that person's flying on their match tech? Oh, I'm done with you. I don't have to fight you anymore. Speaking of fighting the ocean, I wonder where you guys are going to go today. In game. Fuck, I know I should land that one first. I try not to backtrack too much when I do like a bunch of side quests at once. I don't know, it's up to you guys. You still got a few temples to go to. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Like there's still the ocean temple, but there's also like the volcano fire temple and um... What else? There's the earth temple. And, um, some other one I can't remember. Uh, what do you need? This one. Yes, yes, you have a very good bird. Very loyal. Nope, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh no, bad guys. Oh 
shit, I thought I can do this now. Just buzz all these suckers. Oh no, my chocobo left! No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die! Don't die yet! I need the- nope, uh, I need the XP for my chocobo! Fuck! Oh good, there's one more. Basically, I want my chocobo to level up too. But, uh... Getting them XP is pain. Why is it... huh. Is that new? Discord real quick. Okay, cool. Uh, where do I go to next for my rewards? Oh, so they're all in the same spot. I don't think there's any over here. Nope. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. The entrance. Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone. It's over here. I'm safe now. Now it's time to hit up all these people and get my rewards. Yes! I can fly now! Haha! -ha. <laughs> Collect my protection money! Nope, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Talk to you. It is! Oh, Yemen's. Let me show you some other ones that are even goofier. Hang on. Oh, let me show you my favorite right now. Flying elephant. The music isn't as good, so I don't do it a lot, but I love this elephant. And it can do this. Right? Look at this guy. Oh shit, nope, this isn't a good spot. Um, whatever. I'll just show you. It does this. It just stomps. It doesn't do any damage to, to monsters. It's just aesthetics. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Abawa. My cousins, when they were little, they heard, when they heard that song, they thought it was um, Prince Ali, siasa pipi, bajo del agua. Like, Prince Ali pees underwater. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. It does sound super si I know, right? Spanish is a fun language. I wish I spoke it sometimes. I'm just so bad at learning languages. Cool, and now I got all these two items. There we go. Let's just update that. Huh. My old ring is still stronger than the new stuff. <laughs> That's gonna be the remake, didn't you know? 
Cloud just flies in the remake, like the Cloud he is. It's one. I should get lunch ready. Now I'm feeding birdies. Yeah, it should be soon. So, I should probably eat up and stuff beforehand. Let's see, what do I want for lunch, pun? Um... I kinda don't want to order food, because I can't order too many times this week, but... I'm just lazy, and I don't feel like making food either. Fuck it, it, it was... it was pee week. I can... I can splurge a tiny bit. Teriyaki sounds good. What PF Chains? Let's see what they got. Oh, no, I don't know. Okay. Dynamite Shrimp. Yeah, you should eat too. It's important. Wanna well, just wrap up this stream for now so we can both take care of ourselves? <laughs> yes, tomorrow I'm fed and also I took care of all of everyone's problems. Except my own. <laughs> Alright, let's be responsible adults. Ah, oh, thanks for watching, pun. This was fun. Alright, I'll see you in a couple hours for game stuff. Bye. Mwah. No, hold on, that was that was that wasn't a good kiss. Maybe we'll kiss. There we go. Bye.